Hi everyone, welcome to Farmhouse Life. So, me and the little guy are heading out the door to uh, stock the woodshed with firewood. We're getting ready for the uh, winter, it's coming fast. So don't forget to subscribe. All right, hey guys, so we rented a boom lift again <laughs> to fix uh, the same um, side of the barn roof. Not the same shingles as last time, uh, it's new shingles that blew off over last winter. Um, so Aner's going back up there to fix uh, the major holes again, uh, but this time we decided not to use uh, the same shingles that are there. We had some leftover tin uh, from the previous owners in the barn, so we decided that we were going to tin as much as possible uh, the roof instead of using the old shingles that seemed to just keep blowing off. So uh, he got up there and fixed the major holes anyway. Ultimately, we would have loved to retin the whole roof, but we didn't have enough. So we did what we could, and he did um, as much as he could, like I said, and did the ma the major uh, the major holes anyway. So that was definitely good, um, and uh, a lot less leaking anyway. His dad was there to help him out, um, as he didn't want to have to keep going up and down on the lift to get new sheets of tin. So his dad was there to help him um, lift up the tin pieces. They uh, tied a rope, actually, and then he just kind of hauled it up. So that worked out well, um, as obviously the kids are always around. So I was kind of watching kids. They come and go, but uh, I sure wasn't able to help him. So it was super nice his dad was able to. Um so he's, yeah, he's up there. He's actually standing on it, which I'm not a big fan of. I don't like that he was standing on the roof, but I guess you got to do what you got to do. So here's his dad helping him out, trying to get another piece of tin up. It worked out well, at least they managed to get it done. Um, and I'm super happy Andrew's not scared of heights like I am because uh, I would not be up there. So oh, at least he can do it. But uh, it's definitely a little challenging um, trying to do these kind of things when you don't have the equipment. So um, it's great that we were able to rent it, but I mean, obviously renting costs money and it adds up. So maybe one day we'll be able to get um, a boom lift or something that we are able to reach the top of the roofs. But for now... We'll rent, and let's just hope that no more shingles blow off so we don't have to rent it again. All right, guys, and then we're moving. Then once he was done that, we figured we would um, make the most of it 
and actually take down the tower. Oh, it broke my heart. I'm so upset that we had to take it down. Um, but we are hoping next summer to redo that shed and actually kind of do a bit bigger of a shed garage. I think it'll be more like a garage. Um, so, and we definitely did not want the tower going through the middle of the new garage. So our original hope was to be able to take it down and in pieces and be able to put it up somewhere else. But unfortunately, that didn't quite work out. And Andrew actually had to cut it all into pieces. And now it's scrap metal. So that breaks my heart. Um, but sometimes it's just the way life goes. And you just got to do what you got to do. So unfortunately, we have no more tower. <laughs> well, actually, the bottom piece is still there because it's inside the partially inside the woodshed. So we're leaving it there until we tear down the woodshed then we'll move it so we didn't have holes in the roof. But yes, so we got that down to at least where Andrew can use a ladder to take down the rest. And then hopefully, like I said, this summer, we're hoping to redo this shed and make a bit bigger of a shed garage, if you will. Um, so that'll be kind of nice. And then we will obviously remove the remaining pieces of it so that broke like I said that broke my heart a little bit I really liked it I was hoping one day we could put an actual I'm gonna call it a windmill I don't know what the proper on top of it and whatnot but we aren't we had to take it down and it didn't come down easily so it had to come down in pieces so what are you gonna do that's the way life goes unfortunately maybe I'll get Andrew to build me one <laughs> one day 